Well, he's a 35-year-old pastor from Camp Springs who is running for the District 8 school board seat. That's right, Orlando Bago is joining us now in the studio, and thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Now, I understand you're a pastor at a church in Temple Hills. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, I currently pastor Center Point Baptist Church in Camp Springs, Maryland. Uh, we are a three-year-old congregation out of Washington, D.C. And why are you running exactly? I'm running for several reasons. One, my wife is a 14-year educator uh, in Prince George's County, and our youngest of three children uh, is in the second grade at Prince George's County. And I want to make sure that there is a future secured and insured for both of them. And Mr. Bago, are all of your children's students in the county? Uh, my uh, middle child, Alexis, uh, was a, a student at, uh, in the county, and our oldest son was not. Okay. And as a parent, how do you feel about the school system? Uh, I believe there is much room for improvement in our current uh, school system, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I've decided to run. And I understand you have a three-step plan for some goals that you have in mind. Tell us about that. Absolutely. The uh, three-point plan first deals with uh, establishing a, a quality education framework for the county. Uh, and simply what that is is a 10-year strategic plan that begins to bring together community stakeholders from both state, local, uh, public, and private entities uh, to work to establish a framework uh, that will ensure the success of our students over a long period of time. And I understand you have some background in community organizing? Yes, I have uh, over a decade of work in community organizing, working with both federal, state, and local government agencies, uh, private entities, as well as nonprofit organizations, uh, dealing with areas of education, employment, and juvenile justice. And what other experience do you think qualifies you for the job? Uh, well, my uh, educational background experience, I uh, hold a uh, background in economic anthropology, uh, uh, economics with a concentration in urban studies. Uh, I currently have a master's degree from Virginia Union University. And, and so tell us what are some of the shortfalls that you see in the school system at this point in time? Uh, well, you know, there are many successes that we currently have in our school system. Uh, but if we begin to look at shortfalls, we can look at how our teachers have not received proper compensation over the last four years. Uh, there's been a 55% uh, percent reduction over the last five fiscal years uh, for our librarians and media arts specialists. Uh, there's been a 50% percent reduction uh, for our social workers and paraprofessionals. And those are uh, personnel that critically impact the success of our students and begin to give additional resources to our teachers uh, in the classroom. And resources, that's been a huge topic. But there is some good news, some more money has been allocated into the budget. Do you think that budgetary issues is going to be something that's a primary part of your platform if you're elected? Absolutely. You know, we can't continue to throw money at the problem or blame money for the problems. Uh, my background uh, managing uh, multi-million dollar budgets uh, in the District of Columbia gives me somewhat of an experience of being fiscally responsible for managing uh, federal, state, and local government dollars. All right, Mr. Vago, and you're running for the District 8 school board seat. That's correct. All right, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you. And the election for the school board members is April 3rd. Early voting starts on March 24th and runs through the 29th.